It seems that stereotypes contain how people view reality. The same behaviours can be viewed in very different ways depending on the assumptions and stereotypes that people bring to the situation. One prevailing stereotype of the black communities in Australia, the USA and Europe is that they are relatively aggressive and inclined to criminal behaviour. When people view others through the lens of the stereotype, neutral and unthreatening behaviour can be reinterpreted as sinister and aggressive. This can have tragic consequences. Duncan, in 1976, asked a group of white participants to watch a TV, which they thought was showing a live conversation between a black man and a white man. The conversation degenerated into an argument in which one person lightly shoved the other. The participant's job was to provide an interpretation of the events. Duncan found that the participants interpreted the light shove as more violent when it was performed by a black man than when it was performed by a white man. When the white man performed the light shove, participants were more likely to interpret the shove as playing around or dramatising. So the same behaviour but interpreted through different lens. The reality that people see is quite different. Participants were more likely to attribute situational factors when the light shove was performed by the white man and they were more likely to attribute person factors when the light shove was performed by the black man. These results seem to demonstrate that the concept of violence was more accessible to participants when it was associated with the black man compared to when it was associated with the white man. Again, this can have tragic consequences. In 1999, Amadou Diallo, a 23-year-old West African man, was shot and killed in New York City by four police officers. Diallo was an undocumented immigrant from Guinea. One night, four police officers wearing street clothes were searching the streets of New York looking for a serial rapist. They came to an apartment complex at around midnight and saw Diallo standing outside the building. The police officers thought that Diallo matched the general description of the serial rapist they were looking for. The lights from the apartment complex were not working at the time, so all the police officers could see of Diallo was a backlit silhouette of him. The police officers ordered Diallo to stop and show his hands, but Diallo ignored the police officers' orders and tried to run away. Diallo eventually stopped, but he ignored the police officers' orders to not move and reached into his jacket to take out his wallet. One of the four police officers thought that the square object was a gun and yelled out gun to the other police officers. They then opened fire on Diallo, thinking that Diallo had a gun and was about to shoot them. During the shooting, one of the police officers tripped on something and fell backwards, causing the other police officers to think that this police officer had been shot. The police officers fired a total of 42 shots and half of the shots struck Diallo, killing him. Later, no weapons were found on Diallo's body. It was confirmed that the object that Diallo had pulled out of his jacket was a wallet and not a gun. The four police officers were charged with second degree murder, but were later acquitted of all charges. However, it's easy for us to blame the police officers for their wrongdoing after finding out that Diallo was unarmed. It was dark. The police officers had ordered Diallo to freeze. Diallo didn't. Instead, he reached inside of his jacket. If the object he'd reached for was in fact a gun, there would have been less to question of the police behaviour. This incident really got researchers starting to think about the actions of the police with regard to race. The obvious question was, would this have happened if Diallo was white? In 2002, Corral and colleagues constructed a computer game in which people had to decide whether to shoot people or not. The targets that participants were instructed to shoot were either black American or white American. The targets were either holding guns or other objects and were shown in different environments. The participants were instructed to shoot when they see armed targets and to not shoot when they see unarmed targets. If they got it wrong, they lost points. This type of pressure in part simulates some of the pressure police officers are under when they're in that kind of situation. To create more pressure in some cases, Corral and colleagues also varied the amount of time that the targets were shown on the screen. Corral and colleagues found that white participants were faster at making the accurate decision to shoot an armed man when the target was black American compared to when the target was a white American. They also found that participants responded quickly and accurately to not shoot an unarmed man when the target was white compared to black. Not only that, but when you look at the errors that people made, they were more likely to make an error for armed targets when that person was white 
So their error was to mistakenly not shoot the person. For unarmed targets, the errors they made were the opposite. They were more likely to mistakenly shoot a black target. That's a pretty catastrophic error, really. You might think, aha, this is like a racial conspiracy and we always knew that. However, it's not quite as simple as that because Corral and colleagues also measured how racist people were and found no relationship between the level of racism and the magnitude of this kind of shooting bias. In addition, Corral and colleagues found that black American participants also showed this kind of bias towards black American targets. So this bias in shooting black American targets doesn't seem to be driven by racial tendencies. Instead, it seems to be driven by people's knowledge of the stereotype of black being young, urban and criminal, without even knowing they're using that stereotype. When in an ambiguous situation where the object someone is holding could be a wallet or it could be a gun, if the person is black, people are more likely to think that the object is a gun.